Today I'm taking a look at the rank group. Uh, rank group comprises today Grove the Casinos, Mecca Bingo, and in Rancher venues, which are uh, bingo halls in Spain. Uh, they also have an extensive range of online products for online gaming, the digital version of the casinos. In the good old days, I remember Rank for Odeon Cinemas, and Rank used to be a film producing company in the UK. Uh, Odeon is now part of AMC, and that's well, that's a completely different saga, that one. So today it's very much a, a gaming and entertainment business. I thought I'd take an early look at some of the figures, got some indication figures through for 2022 today, um, and take a look at what's going on. The, the share price seems to have dropped a bit further today as they've sort of softened their expectations, um, as possibly the COVID recovery has not come through quite as quickly. But again, I, I take it from what I was reading that they're very much looking a little bit backwards over the last year, which is obviously it's taken a time for people to come back into the mecca bingo halls, etc., um, because of Rony Rona, but things are definitely going to be up on on the up for twenty two and uh, twenty three. Uh, so I think this very well be a a hospitality growth play as it looks to return over the next couple of years back to the uh, very much the pre pandemic levels. Uh, so we look at the figures back in twenty sixteen, eighteen, nineteen, all very consistent levels of turnover. So a very very steady business. Then Rony Rona hit and wallop. <laughs> So, but I think probably things are like most of the hospitality industry on the way up. And I don't know whether the city's quite picked up on this one yet. So this is why rank is very much back on the watch list for me. So assets and liabilities. Well, liabilities have obviously gone up quite heftily because they'll probably have to borrow a fair bit of money uh, during rainy rain to keep the, the premises going, even though most of the doors were shut for the time. Capital expenditure, obviously lower in the last couple of years. We're not expecting a, a much lower figure for this year as well because there's not, uh, not a lot going on. And uh, and free cash flow took a big hit in 2021 with Rony Rona. Obviously, if the, uh, the premises are pretty well shut. Um, but the doors are open again, and people are starting to return. So having a look at the uh, DCF calculator, uh, based on a growth rate of 8.6%, according to uh, Yahoo Finance, I think simply Wall Street are putting a massive growth rate for recovery in the next year. Um, but it would really skew the figures dramatically if you use something that's uh, too optimistic. Uh, so on this calculator, it's coming up with a, a intrinsic value at a pound ninety two a share. The current price today at uh, one nineteen. So it's definitely, definitely on sale at the present time. So compared to simply Wall Street's fair value at two fifty, um, yeah, there's certainly definitely quite a bit of upside. So I put up here a five year chart for rank organisation, and uh, seen a very big peak there back in. Uh, April 2020, just before the uh, the big big plummet at uh, at three pound twenty a share. So if we're taking a fairly typical value, so here we are today at one nineteen. Obviously, the city is reacting today to the news that figures might not be quite as good as maybe they were expecting. Therefore, the the share price has taken a little bit of a slide. Um, if it continues to slide, maybe in the next little while, that may be why it's going to be on the uh, on the watch list. I had picked up some shares um, when it was low at about 95p or so, so around there, um, about a year or two back. Took a bit of profit in the meantime. I've been sitting waiting really for that price to, uh, to hit the right sort of target level again uh, to buy in. So uh, for myself, rank organisation is very much on the watch list. If this share price continues to drop down a bit further before we actually see the uh, results coming through in a few months' time, I think we may be seeing quite a bit of upside over the next few years as it returns to pre-pandemic levels. So uh, it's definitely going to be on my watch list. So put some comments in the comment box below. Let's hear your thoughts on it. And uh, we'll catch up with you again soon.